Well, today's video, I'm going to do some more planting in the betel buckets and in some grow bags. I'll show you what's going on here in the greenhouse today. Here's a quick update on the super bells that we planted in the rapid rooters. They're coming up really nice. Did those on January 31st, and it's the middle of February, so these guys should be ready for our basket. So the rapid rooters, they do say that they can go in hydroponics and or dirt. So we're going to plant our baskets, of course, in dirt. Here's some more things in the nursery channel. This is Toka Bacana for my CSA program. Coming up nicely, nice and green. Here's some tomato plants that are the right size and will be the right size when I put them in the betel buckets this time. And you can see again, I used the rapid rooters. A couple of them didn't come up, but I do have a couple extra seeds, so I think I'm gonna throw them in there and see if I can get them to germinate. Here's another update on flowers. Got them under cover here, because they like the uh, moisture and they need light to germinate, which are petunias. See how nice those little guys are coming up for me? Now these ones I did start in dirt. They're not part of the recirculating system for the NFT channels, if you're wondering that. I'm hand watering everything in here. I'm excited to get to have spring here and get some baskets going. A couple weeks ago, I started some cauliflower and broccoli in Oasis Cubes, and I'm gonna put these guys in grow bags today and I'll show you how I do that here in the greenhouse and how we water them and keep them healthy and happy. Okay, so here's my plan with the grow bags for the cauliflower and the broccoli. I'm gonna mix up perlite and vermiculite in this barrel here that I usually use. And because of the grow bags, it's just a little bit easier to mix them and put them in the grow bags. And since I don't wanna put the grow bags on the concrete, we still gotta finish up a little bit here, I cleared off a space here where I usually do my microgreens, but I'm not doing them right now. So I'm just gonna put these grow bags underneath the um, channels where the channels are moved. So they'll get sunlight and they can drain off into the gravel. So I think this should work pretty good. So I'm gonna use about half perlite and half vermiculite in my mix here. Since these plants are gonna be hand watered, I wanna add a little bit more vermiculite to hold the moisture. Luckily with it being winter and it's gonna be early spring when these are harvested, it's not gonna to get too hot here in the greenhouse to dry them out. So like I said, for the grow bags, it's just easier to mix things together in a barrel and then put them into the uh, three gallon grow bags I'm gonna be using. Since it's a little bit dusty, of course, I'm gonna wet it down before I start filling up the bag. Just kinda of wanna get it a little damp and just kinda of mix everything up together. And then we'll start filling up the grow bags and get the plants in here. Okay, so I'm ready to get planting here. I have my three gallon grow bags. I like to use the three gallons better than five gallons for what I'm doing here. I use you know, less medium, growing medium. And to me, I don't wanna waste anything. So I fold these over, just how I do it. Makes it a little bit stiffer. And I go ahead and fill these up. I don't fill them all the way up to the top. I don't feel they need to be. Some people you know, like to fill it up differently. It's up to you and how you want to do it. But I'm just showing you what I like to do. So um, I noticed over here, when I planted the broccoli and cauliflower, I didn't put plant tags on them. So I have no idea which one is the broccoli and which one's the cauliflower. So I guess when they grow, we'll be surprised to see which one is which. But that's okay, I'm just growing this for us. And I like growing the broccoli and cauliflower in the greenhouse this time of year because the days are getting longer, so they grow pretty well. And there's no bugs. I just hate getting into a broccoli plant and you got all those little worms and stuff in it. So for me, it's better to grow it here in the greenhouse. So like I said, these are in Oasis cubes. I'm gonna plant two in each bag. I did that last year and it worked out really well for me. So I just kind of separate them. You can see they got nice little white roots on them here. Stick them down in so they're totally covered up. and I'm ready to plant the next one. So I'll bring you over here in a second so I can sh you can see what they look like inside the grow bag. So there they are down in the grow bag. 
they will get plenty of light and pop up over the top as they get bigger and we should have a good harvest. So here I've got two down already. I'm going to finish up the other ones and I'll bring you back over to show what I got done. So I have the grow bags under the channels here, or the channels are removed and the grow bags are in the gravel. They should get plenty of light here. If I feel they're not, I may move things around a little bit, but I'm just going to keep an eye on them and see how they do. And I'll keep you updated. So I'm going to plant some beans now. These are the betel buckets that I usually have my cucumbers growing, my English cucumbers in for my farm market. Since it's February and the farm market doesn't start to June, I have some downtime here for the buckets. So why not plant some green beans, some whole beans that climb right up to the betel bobbins and they are extra sweet and delicious this time of year. So I'll show you how I plant them, which is a little bit different than I do everything else. So here are the supplies I need for planting the green beans in the betel buckets. I have oasis cubes that are pre-wet here, then I have them all ready to go. I have my seeds and I have my empty betel buckets. Doug's getting the emitters done for me. That's something he needs to do. My hands aren't strong enough to pop those uh, lines into the main line here. So he's going to get that done for me another day or so. So what I do is I take my seeds and I put one in every one of these holes. So as you can see, I'm putting seeds right into my oasis cubes here. And what I'm going to do next is take the oasis cubes, break them apart, and put five, no, oh, probably six of these in each one of these betel buckets. And I don't germinate these. I don't put them under the grow lights. I just plant them directly into the betel buckets. I guess you could say I seed them directly into the betel buckets. And I've had good luck with it in the past. It saves a little bit of time. And in a week or so, I should have green beans sprouting. Okay, so I got six of the oasis cubes. Set these down, use two hands. And I'm just gonna put them in here and bury them like you would a regular seed. For me, I, it feels like the uh, oasis cube will hold a little moisture. I think I filled this guy up a little too high, oh well. And I've done up to eight um, seeds in each betel bucket. They have plenty of room to grow. And then you get even a better harvest and less space. So I'm going to go ahead and keep planting these on down here. But if you have extra space and you're wondering what you can plant that would grow good. And it, it's fun to grow because it's fun to watch them climb up the betel bottom. So. Okay, so I have the um, green beans planted in the betel buckets here. Like I said, they should come up in a week or so. And once they get to be about three, four inches tall, I'll go ahead and drop the betel bottoms down to them. So then I can train them to go up. And like I said, they grow all the way up to the top and start curling around. So you get a pretty good harvest off of it. Well, I hope you like this video. It's a few of the things I like to do when I have empty space in the greenhouse. I'd like to keep it full. And we're going to be ramping up for the summertime and springtime here shortly. So I might as well take advantage of the space I have. If you have any questions, or comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. And again, please like and subscribe. See you guys next video.